This video tutorial is about the use of Mastro View in Cadence Virtuoso. Mastro View allows to create multiple test benches for various designs in a single view. Here, for this tutorial, I have considered three test bench setups. First, DC analysis of CMOS inverter. Second, transient analysis of a CMOS inverter with a load of 200 femtofarad. Third, transient analysis of a two input NAND gate with A and B as input and Y as the output. So, let us simulate these three test bench setup using Mastro View. For performing the Simulation using the master view. Go to the launch. Click on ADE assembler. Create a new view, which is a assembler view. Click OK. See that the view is Mastro. Click OK. This is the Mastro editor window. On the left, Click to add the test. You can choose the designs. Right now I am choosing NAND2. The design is loaded. Simulator is Spectre. Click to add the analysis. I want to have a transient analysis of 100 nanoseconds of moderate accuracy. You can plot the signals from here that is selecting the signal or you can go to the outputs to be plotted select on the design. Select A, B and Y which are the inputs and outputs of a 2 input NAND gate. These are loaded in the master view. Since I am using the PTM models, go to the setup model libraries, click on model files, on the desktop I have the model files these two that is 40 nanometer n fit 40 nanometer p fit click ok this symbol is called checkout and this symbol is called check in so let's simulate this first then we will try to add a design The simulation is finished. Click to plot all the waveforms. It shows the input and output of a two input NAND gate. But I want to have more designs into it. Click to add the tests. I will go with the CMOS transient. Click on add analysis. I want to simulate it for 100 nano of moderate. Then again you select the input signal. Either you can select from here or go to the outputs to be plotted. Select on design. Route Right now I am selecting from this, click the input, again one more signal,
these are the two input signal and go to the setup to load the library files click ok you can check out once all the designs are done you can check out now we have the ADE assembler with the two designs and the inputs are changed that means within the same master view we can have multiple design test benches simulate this Simulation is done. Click on plot all waveforms. Now we have two designs. This is the first design for NAND gate, and this is the second design for a NOT gate with a load capacitor of 200 femtofarad. Let me add the third design. Click to add the test. I will take this as CMOS inverter DC analysis. Click OK. Again, we came to check out or check in. Click on analysis. Click DC. Save DC operating point. Click OK. Just edit click on component parameter dc click ok i want to simulate it from 0 to 1 click ok here now add the signals click on this This is the input signal. Again, you add one more signal from here. Select the output signal that is to be plotted and check out. Now we have an assembler with multiple test benches. This is for the NAND and this is for the CMOS transient. This is for CMOS DC analysis and their inputs and outputs at a time i can have all of this input and output plots click on run simulation it gave me error because i did not provide the model library file for the third go to the setup Model libraries, add NFET and PFET. Click OK. Now check out. Again, rerun the simulation. This is called check in, and another symbol is called as the check out. So all the simulations are done. Click on plot all waveforms. We have three designs now, three test bench setups. This is for the NAND, this is for the not DC characteristic that is CMOS inverter DC characteristics and this is for transient analysis of CMOS inverter. So by using the ADE assembler or master view it is possible to load multiple test benches and you can keep all the results intact.